guys, so I have Jackson here, and I am about to head to Charlotte for the weekend with my hubby. It is Friday, almost afternoon, so I wanted to quickly film a quick update of everything that I was able to work on this past week. I can't believe this week kind of flew by, but I do have some progress to share with you. So, I do have Jackson on my lap if you guys hear any noises or randomly see his head he actually probably is going to just sit up here so the first thing is the shampoo and conditioner this is the marijo hair care nourishing cleansing cream and deep treatment butter for my hair this was only good for one use i did like it my hair didn't have anything negative to it the smell was really nice. It definitely felt high-end salon, like silky in my hair. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go out and purchase this. It's not cruelty-free, so it's not on my radar at the moment. But it was pretty nice, If and it wasn't anything too terrible. So if you guys are interested in it, it was nice. Didn't do anything super amazing to my hair or negative. I would definitely try it out once they turn cruelty-free. Then I have a face mask. I did this last night. So nice. I was like almost done packing. I still have a little bit more packing to do, but I used it. This is the Dior Glow Better Fresh Jelly Mask. I feel like I always have one of these that I'm trying to work on, but I used it. It had like little, I'm assuming they were rose petals or something, some exfoliating beads to it. Jackson, I'll give you something else. You can hold this one. Um, some kind of exfoliating beads to it. Um, that was really good at exfoliating. I left it on for about 10 minutes. It didn't have directions on the actual like sample packet, but I did leave it on for 10 minutes and it is a rinsable mask. So I did rinse it off and it made my skin look really like brightened and glowy. I really liked it. So once Dior again turns cruelty free, I would look into it. So close to using this up. I would have used it up if I put it on before my makeup today. So this is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream and this helps hydrate, smooth, and recharge. I really like this stuff, guys. I love the scent. I love the way it makes my skin feel really smooth. Do not bite that off. Um, and yeah, I did see that this is a huge pot. I would get another little deluxe size. I like the squeezy tube over a pot. Um, but yeah, I really like this stuff and I will definitely be able to use this up by this week. You want to switch? Let me have that one. You want this? There you go. So what Jackson was holding was the Little Barn Apothecary <coughs> Aloe and Rose Water Balancing Mist. You guys can see I have used quite a bit of it since last week. I really have been enjoying using this. I spray it on after I wash my face at in the morning and in the... I use this after I wash my face in the morning and at night. Sometimes throughout the day when I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just spray this on my face. It's really nice cooling and just feels good to spray it on. I really like this product. So the other thing that I used was the Glam Glow. This is the Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. And you can see I used quite a bit of it up. This has the consistency of a face mask the way that how thick it is on your skin so it does froth up when you wash it off but it's not something that I would reach for all the time for a cream cleanser he is having a ball with this thing um, but it was nice I will keep using it they're not cruelty free but I will hopefully finish this off this week and then moving on to the items that I really honestly didn't even touch or look at. This is the Eve Lom Gel Balm Cleanser. So need to try that out. Still need to try the Kula Mineral Sunscreen BB Cream. I just didn't even think about this. The BB Cream I've been wearing a lot is the Smashbox BB Cream. My favorite. I've been wearing that all the time. That's what is on my skin with some concealer today. And then I have the OC Essential Hydrating Oil. I just... I don't know. It says to just apply it to your face to help hydrate mm -hmm. and plump skin. I like moisturizers. I need to try this. It does have a ball applicator, so maybe I'll try it this week. Hopefully I'll try it this week. Um, and then the last thing is another moisturizer, the Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer. And I haven't touched this because I love the First Aid Beauty and been using that more. So I have one, two three, four, five, six, seven items. So we are going to pull three items to use in the sample bag. So I have one, 
two, three. My sample bag after I decluttered it is so small and I didn't um, get my Petite Vore subscription again. I need to do that. And I just signed up for Sephora Play, but I don't think my first bag comes till January. But I had the Clinique Take Off the Day Makeup Remover. I have tried this before. I don't remember liking it or not liking it, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Then I have from Sunday Rally, this is the CEO Antioxidant Protect and Repair Moisturizer. And then I have some Kat Von D perfume samples, the Saint and Sinner. Now, I'm not a big fan of Kat Von D products anymore. You guys know all of the controversy with that. I'm strongly against what she believes, so I'm not going to purchase these, but I will use the samples up. So that is everything I used up, the samples that I'm working on and the samples that I am going to add in to this week's regime or regiment. Um, I'm going to go love on this little boy because it's the first weekend away from him and I'm going to wish him so much. <laughs> but yeah, we will talk to you guys in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are following us along on our Vlogmas journey. Then I have a whole bunch of videos for you. I've been uploading every day a bunch of vlogs with the little man in it. Yeah. And we'll have some more Christmassy vlogs coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.